Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Mercari Japan haul. This time I've used Neokyo. So for the past couple of Mercari Japan hauls, I have been using 8 Mart just to kind of test them out and I have really been enjoying them. But Neokyo had a good deal on their service fees over the holidays. So I decided to use them again. The only thing is Actually, I lied. This is not a Mercari Japan haul. This is a technically a Rakuma haul. Um, so that's the thing with Neokyo. You can no longer shop with or through Mercari on their site, but you can shop through Rakuma and you can still get a lot of great items. So this is a kind of small, kind of large, but mighty haul. And I'm very excited. I haven't used Neokyo in a while and I almost forgot that your name is attached to every single item. So I did already open the box just so I could get my name and information off of each item. But other than that, everything is in here and it's still in plastic packaging and we're going to be going through it together. So I'm going to move this box off camera and then we'll just go through items one by one. So first things first, as you could see at the top of that package, we have this little Taeyang from SF9 pack. I might need my knife for some of these. So yes, this is more than just one photo card, but I think I only bought it for two. I think these might actually be all of his jewel case photo cards. I was struggling to remember the word there. Oh my gosh, there's more tape. Okay. Um, I only needed two of his jewel case cards, but I could only find them together in a full set of four. So I will have some extra cards here that I will be putting up for trade or sale. So I could not tell you which ones I need. I think it's this one is definitely one of the ones that I needed. So there's that. This one I believe I have. So don't need you. And then this one I also believe I have right? Or is it this one that I have? One of these I have, one of them I don't. So yeah, basically these are the only four cards that you could get in the jewel cases. And um, like I said, I had two, I needed the other two, but I really couldn't find the two that I needed together. So I bought them in a four piece set instead. And I'll just either trade or for like cross trade, or I can make my money back by selling them. We'll see. I apologize for the glare over here, but that's just how it's going to have to be. Next up, I have this Min Chen of Very Very Photo Cards. So this is actually from the platform um, albums for Liminality. So they had regular albums as well as platform. The regular albums came with photo card sets, whereas the platforms came with individual member photo cards. I pulled one of Gehons. There's two per member. I pulled one of Gehons, but I didn't pull anything else for Min Chan or Gehons' other card. So I decided to go ahead and try and find them, and I did. So we have Min Chan here, which is super exciting. And then, like I said, there were two per member. So I do have his other photo card as well. I don't think they've mentioned whether or not he's off hiatus yet or not, but I do really miss him. I hope he's okay and I can't wait for him to come back when he's feeling better. So very happy to have these cards in the meantime. With this package, my very, very collection is now up to date and complete, which is very exciting. And you'll be able to see that in my upcoming sorting and organizing photo cards video. So do stay tuned for that. And as I mentioned, I only pulled one Gehan, but we found the other one. So I'm very happy to have been able to find his platform photo cards. I did have a few for trade, but um, I just, it was a struggle. I couldn't find anyone to trade with. So I decided to just go ahead and buy them. And then I will put my photo cards that I pulled up for trade, or sorry, up for sale. I believe I pulled Kangmin for both of them. And, um, I think I also pulled a Yongsung, but you can go ahead and check my Instagram for that if you're interested in buying any of their platform photo cards. Speaking of very, very, we'll keep on theme. I do have these packs from their actual like physical album version. Now, like I said, you pulled full like full member sets or not full member, I guess full full group sets. So I have two two full sets however there were three i think different sets to collect and i don't want sorry three different sets per version so i don't want six 
full member sets. I don't really need that, but I did want the rest of the cards that I didn't have for both Min Chen and Gehan. So I was hoping that it would be a thing I could find, and I was correct. I was able to find full member sets for or for the cards. So there's gonna be two Min Chens and two Gehans that I don't need, which I'll end up putting up for for sale or trade, I guess. But here we go. I don't remember which ones of his I already have. So let's just go one by one. So here is the first Min Chen, the second one, and the backs. This is from, oh gosh, I don't remember the version names, but this is with like the green, the green back. So there's that. We have this one. This one, this one's matte. Oh, and these are from, okay, so these are from the other version. I forgot that some were matte and some were glossy. Also, I didn't mention at the beginning, I apologize for my voice. I've mentioned it in a couple other videos I filmed today, but I'm not feeling very well. It's not COVID, thankfully, but I just can't kick whatever I do have. So anyways, that's why I sound congested. So those were the six cards. Like I said, I have two of them already. But then I have this in here too, and I don't know where this is from. Does it say Tower Records? So there we go. We got a little pre-order benefit. I did buy Gehan set as well, and I don't know if it comes with that, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. It did come with little Min Chan stickers, which I'm going to put in my bullet journal. They're so cute. I don't like, can you see? It's almost like it's woven. Like the texture of these stickers is very interesting to me. I'm going to leave them up here, but there is that. And then this should be the Gehun set. So let's take a look at that. So. Okay, so here we have his set. Let's see. Oh, the way it was packaged was a little different. We have one of his stickers, not both this time, but that's okay. I don't. I don't need them all so there's that and then it looks like we do have the tower records card which is nice so we can go through that in a second but firstly again i have two of these couldn't tell you which ones they are i'd have to go and double check so it looks like we're starting with the green set again and there's this one and this one I, this one looks very familiar i definitely have this one so then I don't have these two, and then I have one of these. Don't know which one it is. <laughs> that one doesn't feel too familiar. This one kind of does, so I'm gonna assume it was this one that I pulled. Is he scratched, or is that just, there's something on there. I can figure that out later, but there he is. And then there's this one, super cute, I love this one. And then, we have this one, which is a matching Tower Records pre-order benefit. So I don't really collect pre-order benefits anymore for them, but I'm glad to have both of them. That way I can put them on a page together. Next up, we have a card I didn't need, but I wanted really bad. And that was this Sung Chen Kuropi card. I don't collect Sung, Ch Sung Chen. I was going to for a hot minute there, but I decided against it. However... I do love Kuropi and I buy a lot of things with Kuropi on it. So when I saw this, I mean, like I knew it existed for a while now, but when I saw it on Rakuma, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it and I'm going to put it in a cute little holder or something and have it on display. I don't know yet, but I just look at it. It's so cute. I need it. So next up, we have a Victon Sejun set. So again, there's probably a few cards in here that I might not need, but I think a majority I do. So this is from their newest album choice. Um, I'm still missing a few cards for each member, but this made a big dent in my Sejun collection at least. So I think these are all just regular album cards. I don't know that they include Digipack or Platform or anything, but yeah, I don't think so. So there's that one. And then there's this one. And this one, and this one, very beautiful. So I'm happy to have at least five of them on hand. I think I did order a few others of his, or I've traded for a few others. So I'm pretty sure I'm just missing two regular album photo cards for 
Sungchik, Sejun, and Hanse. And then in terms of Digipack, I'm missing a few. Platform, I'm done. So that's nice. But I am still missing a few for Digipack and I'm finding it very hard to find them. So wish me luck on that. <laughs> Next up, we have this card here, which I think I may have talked about it in my opening mail, like opening trades video, but it could have been in the clip that I accidentally deleted because that was a thing. But basically I had traded someone for this card and it just didn't show up like I, I traded with them at the end of October early November and it was I mean it's January and it, it, it didn't come and I was like well it's probably lost but that's okay it happens so I repurchased it and then of course the second I repurchased it what happened it showed up <laughs> so now I have two of these one of them will be up for sale or trade on my Instagram so if you're interested in this card you can go ahead and check that out but yes it always happens that way this has happened to me so many times now where i think things are lost and they just show up the second i decide to buy it so there's that and then we have the last item in this package <laughs> and it is an 80s paradigm album i had no intention of owning this album however i had every intention of owning this photo card because oh my god the second i saw it I knew it was a thing that I needed and I kept looking for it. I saw it for like $10 and I was like, mm, I'll wait for it to go cheaper. And then it just kept getting more expensive. And I was like, no, shoot, I should have bought it when I saw it. So anyways, what happened was I ended up finding it for pretty cheap. I don't remember how much, but it came with an album. Didn't necessarily need it, but whatever. It's actually really quite beautiful. So I'm not mad at it. I don't think there's anything, well, there seems to be a poster, but in terms of photo cards, I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll open it to check. Uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, pretty. I love this. They all have, well, Songwa has smudged lipstick, so does Hongjoon, and so does Sen, I think. But everyone else does Sen. Interesting. So there's that. There's that. Um, okay. Then we have a little booklet. Like I said, I don't think we're going to have photo cards or anything in here. Because that was not in the listing. Whoa. His eyes. Whoa. Anyways. Yeah, I didn't watch like any unboxings or anything for this. So I didn't really know. Wow. He's so beautiful. So anyway, there's the booklet. And then we have the jewel case again. We can open it to see if there's any photo cards. But I don't think that there will be. There's... Oh. I don't like that. There's the disc. I'm going to take out this booklet and we'll double check it, but I don't think so. So there's that, but that's okay. I really didn't want all the photo cards. There's a, a minute there where, where I was like contemplating getting four different ones just so I could fill in a four pocket page of his cards. However, I have recently moved APs back into a full size binder. We'll talk about that in my sorting photo cards video. So if you don't want to miss that, um, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss it. However, the one photo card that I knew I needed was this one and it doesn't even bother me at all that I got no other photo cards with this album. I don't care. So this is what I wanted. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. It's beautiful. It's an HMV pre-order, but it's sparkly oh it's beautiful it's so beautiful so i'm just so happy that i have that and i'm glad that i decided to stop being stupid and stop waiting and just buy it so there's that so anyways that was my neokyo haul it was very exciting to buy from them again i miss shopping with them and there's nothing against them they're a great company it just sucks that we can't order through mercari with them anymore because it's just there's just so much more on Mercury. So, I mean, considering though, I did get a lot of amazing things and a lot of collection completed things, especially for Very Very and for SF9 up here. So I'm very happy with the stuff that I've gotten here today. But like I said, I will have a sorting photo cards video coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.